Hi, this is Ron McTube. We're playing the Hunter Cordo Wild on PC, and today we're taking a look at the very nice Jack Rabbit close up because we've got Matty Heightening's cinematic tool working again. And this is what I wanted to show you on the release of the Jack Rabbit, but the tool wasn't working then, but now it is. He's fixed it, he's remade it, and look at this footage we can get now. We've never been able to get this close up to animals without this tool, but you can really see the animation work put in by Avalanche. It really is top notch. Many people won't realize how many animations are done for making an animal move like this. It will be hundreds. It's not just a case of the head turning one way is one animation or a leg move or it is hundreds of movements. So a lot of work is put in and you can see how it adds to the realism of the game. Let's look at the nose, how it's always twitching, the rabbit's checking around, the ears are just slightly moving in different ways, the foot scratching the face, eating. So many things to do and it's when you nail this right, it really adds to the game. And this is one of the great things that a lot of people like about Call of the Wild and the Hunter Classic that a lot of uh, detail is put into it. The more detail or realism you put into the game, the more people will notice it and the more people will like it and enjoy it and play it. So we're going to take a close up look. I've got a few rabbits here to have a look at. Let's check these out over here. There's a couple in the shade. If you want to see any other animals, put it in chat because I will be filming quite a few of the animals. I might even film them all and put them into a little montage or we can do each one individually. Just say what you want to see as I record them. I've recorded quite a few already. Uh, I'll sort out uh, either like I say singular videos or we'll do a montage and try and get all the animals in we can cover all of them across the ranges as long as nothing happens to the camera or something breaks it the camera tool is free to download I will link it in the video description a lot of people use it for getting screenshots because you can get the most beautiful screenshots showing off the game I was posting some on Twitter and Facebook yesterday asking people what animals they wanted to see or anything and then going out and getting some and it's like this look at this what a perfect setting we've got a rare moose behind us we've got the rabbit up close how I wanted it we've got the deal on the left perfect scenery it's this camera it really does add to the game and also one thing I want to mention now is a lot of people play Call of the Wild not for the actual hunting just exploring taking pictures of the scenery of the animals just observing them and that's the thing, like me, I actually spend probably as much time hunting as I do exploring, do you know what I mean? So it's not all about hunting. A lot of people enjoy just roaming around, exploring, and just enjoying the game like that, instead of just going out and shooting trophy animals. So there's two sides of it, and it's nice. Also, the camera has brought this ability to do this. So I'm hoping at some point later in uh, Call of the Wild, they do bring some kind of feature like this or add Matty's cinematic tool because he's put a lot of work into it. That would be nice if we could link them up together and make it work permanently. So we've been taking a closer look at the Jack Rabbits. I will be doing other animals as well. Did you enjoy the video? <laughs> he, he didn't enjoy it, but I enjoyed making it. It was a lot of fun. I will be doing some others. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.